Hi guys! I was making some DIY Bible tabs this week and halfway through I thought it'd be nice for me to make a video on how I did them. I think it's really nice to be able to personalize your Bible and really make it your own. Here are the supplies that I used. I have a Bible, of course. <laughs> the one I'm using is one I got quite recently from Book Depository. You'll also be needing some cardstock. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy paper, but I just wanted mine with these floral type designs. Um, this small booklet I got is from Mr. DIY. Um, it contains a few different designs. I used a Unipin pen for this project because it is water and fade proof, but you can of course use any other pen that you like. I also have some glue stick. It's better to use this rather than water glue, especially if the cardstock you're using is slightly thinner. I have scissors to cut my Bible tabs out and some washi tape to secure them to the page. Lastly, I have a template that I cut out from some hard paper, and how I measured it was just with ensuring that the width of my washi tape would fit, and then I left extra space where the words would go. So what I did first was use my template to cut out a portion from the cardstock. I cut two pieces of each design, one for the front and one for the back. I then wrote the name of the book. Here I have Jeremiah. And once that's done, I glue the pieces together. If there are any excess bits, I would just <laughs> kind of cut them off. And once I'm happy with it, I get to my washi tape and cut out a small strip, turning it into a double-sided tape. I then positioned the tape right at the bottom edge of the tab and proceeded to stick it in my Bible. I think you can tell that I have this sort of zigzag layering thing going on and the reason I did this was because when I was done with the first row, I realized that I had 8 tabs in one row. So I did the math, knowing that there are 66 books in the Bible, and I found that if I continued on this way, I'd have two lonely tabs towards the end. So instead of doing them all in rows of 8, I alternated between 8, then 7, then 8, then 7, and so on. That way, my finished product looked a little more balanced. By the way, I'd encourage you to really personalize it according to what you like. Whether you want to play around with fonts, sizes, finishes, and designs, don't be afraid to try something new. And there you have it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I legit felt like a little girl working on her Sunday school project. Anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Please leave a thumbs up and maybe comment like your favorite Bible verse in this season. <laughs> My socials are in the description box down below. So do follow me on those platforms and have a great week and I'll see you guys next time.